Business editor Richard Southern joins us. And Richard, we hear the term cryptocurrency tossed around a lot, but this might go down as the day it truly went mainstream. Yeah, so there's a company called Coinbase, Erica, and they have an app you can download on your phone or you can use it on your computer. And it's basically a way for you to buy all different types of cryptocurrencies. And Coinbase has, since its founding in 2012, become the biggest marketplace to buy and sell crypto, things like Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that. So Coinbase today went public on the NASDAQ and wow, instantly Erica becoming one of the biggest publicly traded companies in the United States. The stock closed at 328 US dollars. It did close 14% below the opening price, but it still has a market cap of 95 billion dollars. Uh, this is a company that has 56 million global users and uh, it's seen as, you know, a, a way for investors to basically own all the cryptocurrencies, right? They trade all of them. And the better that they all do, the better Coinbase does. So instead of going around and picking and choosing cryptocurrencies, this is a different way to sort of play the market with Coinbase, Erica. So, you know, becoming more mainstream, we saw some of the uh, ATMs around Toronto that mm -hmm. dole out Bitcoin, and now here they are, the big companies on the market as well. Interesting. All right, Air Canada reached an agreement with the federal government earlier this week, and that aid package could set the baseline for Canada's other airlines, Richard. Yeah, we were talking big time about this yesterday, right, with Air Canada reaching that $5 billion repayable loan deal with Ottawa. Uh, Ottawa as well taking uh, an equity stake in Air Canada. But that's, that's just Air Canada, right? This uh, has nothing to do with any of the other uh, airlines. So they're going to need aid packages as well, we think. They're probably in worse shape, some of them, like Porter, which hasn't flown a single flight since March of last year. They all have to get their own deal done with the feds, and it could be coming, according to airline expert Robert Kikonis. I think we're going to see a deal next uh, for Transat fall very closely by something for WestJet, and I think something will come along as well for uh, Porter and for, for Sunwing. But we don't know yet, will there be any additional money or funding for Canada's small regional carriers? Many of them proportionally have suffered immeasurably as well, not to mention the nation's airports. Uh, Air Canada, Erica, fell another 2.5% on Bay Street today. And finally, a term you see in many real estate listings is being phased out. Yeah, the term master bedroom is going to be replaced here in the GTA with the term primary bedroom. Uh, we heard today from the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board, and it said, Eric, it's going to make this change in the next couple of months. Uh, the word master is often seen as a reference to racism or sexism and slavery. Uh, the board of directors at the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board said the change is coming on the recommendation uh, by one of its diversity and inclusion committees. The Canadian Real Estate Association already made this switch last year in October.